regarding the size of the exit wound. Dr. Bell also prepared a skeletal diagram indicating the location of the uh, thoracotomy with a chest surgery on the left side of the body and also indicated that gunshot wound A, the wound of entrance, did go through the left seventh rib upon entering his body. This is the entrance gunshot wound of Lieutenant Oliver. It is immediately below the thoracotomy incision. It is a defect that has a sharply circumscribed circular border. It is a wound of entrance. There are no powder burns associated with this wound. I later on examined the shirt. There are no powder fragments present on the shirt material. This is not a wound in which there was any close proximity of the weapon to the skin surface at the time of discharge. This is the exit wound. This is the arm and the armpit. This is the exit wound of Lieutenant Oliver. You can see that it is a gaping wound. It measures 64 hundredths of an inch, or almost two thirds of an inch here, by uh, 21 hundredths of an inch in this dimension. That is ample for the passage of a 45 caliber bullet. This is a slide of a case that Dr. Bell and I shared. This is a case that I prepared the report of investigation by the county medical examiner. Dr. Bell prepared the autopsy report. This depicts the palm of a man's hand. The man's hand has a defect in it here. This defect measures 0.28 inches by 0.24 inches, or a little over a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch in two dimensions. This wound was produced by a 45 caliber bullet. In my teachings to the medical students, to the residence fellows uh, in pathology and forensic pathology and in the military, I have taught long and hard that you cannot determine the caliber of a bullet by the defect it leaves in the skin. It's essentially fallacious science. Because you can see here a 45 caliber bullet made a hole that would be expected of a 22. This is the bullet that we're talking about. This is the Winchester Western Silver Tip. It has a soft aluminum jacket with a cantalure. That'll become significant later on. That's uh, uh, a mark placed in the bullet uh, that the cartridge case is crimped into to hold the bullet solidly in the cartridge case. On cross-section, you can see that it has an aluminum jacket which starts in this hollow cavity nose, goes over the lip, down the sides, and then is folded and crimped into the base of the bullet has a core of soft lead. The function of this bullet is to gain uh, pressure, to collect pressure in the hollow cavity as it strikes tissue and then uh, induce expansion. The way that a hollow point bullet functions is that as it travels uh, and strikes a target, if that target is soft and yielding, that that target material will enter this cavity and focus the pressure in the nose to accomplish two things. One is to produce pressure in excess of the pressure on the nose of the bullet produced by the outside influence at the bullet surface. Additionally, to overcome the material strengths present in the wall of the nose. And if you have pressure that will overcome both of those uh, types of resistance, you will see that this bullet will expand outward. But because you have a cavity here, there is some propensity under some conditions where this bullet may actually collapse inward. Additionally, as the FBI studies have shown, that if this cavity collects a sufficient amount of debris, it will not uh, expand outward either. As a matter of fact, when we do ballistics testing in my laboratory, if you shoot into water, this bullet will uh, expand excessively causing so much deformation back here that it re actually reduces the amount of rifling mark that you're able to look at as well as may stretch it uh, so you're looking at additional deformation. In order to prevent a bullet of this type from expanding into water, you can take epoxy materials or dental stone and cast that material into this hollow point cavity, thus creating a full metal jacket type performance. If you fill this cavity with uh, hard material or tough material, then it will not function as a hollow point. <laughs> Most hollow points are designed to expand under ideal conditions up to about uh, 80%. So the original caliber would be uh, 45, the expanded caliber would be about 150.